Hi guys, welcome back to Active Presenter channel. And in today's video, I will show you how to convert your PowerPoint presentation into a professional video in both basic and creative ways, no matter whether you are using Mac OS or Windows. Don't forget to give us a like, share, and subscribe first. And no more wasting time, let's get started. First, let's learn how to save PowerPoint as video in Mac OS. After making all the changes, click Save. Then navigate to File, choose Export. You will see a dialog popping up allows you to change the name, add tabs, and define location for your video file. Here, you are allowed to change your video format to MP4 or MOV. Now define the video quality. Check the timing box if needed. And then change the second span on each slide. Then click export and it's done. Similarly, you can save your PowerPoint presentation as video in Windows. Click save first to save all the changes. Then choose File and Export. Choose Create a Video. Now choose the video quality and whether you want to use recorded timings and narrations or not. Design the second span on each slide and click Create Video. However, a more professional and creative way to export PowerPoint to video is to use an authoring tool like Active Presenter here. Active Presenter allows you to directly import your PowerPoint into its workspace. And you can see at the bottom right corner of the screen are the resources that have been imported. As Active Presenter is a slide based program, the workspace is very user friendly. And you can see on the canvas are all the objects and items that are editable. They can be text, media, charts or graphs, shapes, and so on. And you can find many other options of objects and items to insert at the Insert tab. Here, you will have Annotations options media options, and interactions options. What if you want to change the design of your video? You just need to change the colors, the fonts, and the themes if you want. Active Presenter offers different types of transitions for your slides, animations for your objects, including entrance effects, asset effects, and Emphasis and Motion Path. Coming to the Exporting tab, you can export your project to Media, Document, or eLearning Formats. All the values here can be customized and make sure you choose the right output formats for your video. Then click OK to export your PowerPoint to video. What might trigger your interest in Active Presenter is its screen recording features. You can choose to record screen as video or record interactive simulations with Active Presenter. And when choosing either of these options, you are allowed to record full screen or just custom parts of your screen. You can choose to record your face with webcam on or off and record your voice and system audio with audio on or off. When finished recording, you will be immediately forwarded into the workspace with the webcam and screen video separately like this. And since Active Presenter 9, you can crop your video. And since Active Presenter 9.1, you can crop your video to shape.
finish cropping, you can resize and change your webcam position on the canvas. Now it is very easy to record additional narration to your video in Active Presenter Editing Workspace. You can change the input volume, adjust the input device, test the microphone sensitivity, then click the red button to record. Now pay attention to the green area as after recording, an audio object will appear. Hello everyone, welcome to Active Presenter tutorial site. Here you will find all the needed information and tutorials about Active Presenter. For example here, how to create e-learning courses with Active Presenter. Now to edit this audio object with all the editing tools here, you need to choose a range for your audio object on the timeline or video object on the timeline. Adding subtitles to your video in Active Presenter is a piece of cake. Just need to place the playhead at the right timing position on the timeline pane, then click Close Caption. A closed caption object will appear on the timeline and you can increase or decrease the duration of this object. Then, add text to this black area. Repeat the process to create many more closed caption objects. And check out the video at the top right corner here for more information about adding subtitles in Active Presenter. Now converting text to speech is another powerful feature that can help your video not only look but sound like a pro. There are ready-made voices in Active Presenter that you can choose from and you can customize their speed, their volume and then click the speak button to test their voices. Hi everyone, welcome to our today's report for 7P marketing plan. Then click more voices to see more voices options. Here we have three third-party providers. And they provide different languages that you can choose from. These providers are Amazon Poly, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. So check out the video at the top right corner for more information about this feature. Now, to convert your closed caption text to speech, just right-click it and choose Convert Closed Caption to Audio. And you will see that there will be an audio object appear right on the timeline pane under the closed caption like this. Hi everyone, welcome to our today's report for 7P Marketing Plan. Finally, a quick and convenient way to save your slide as video is right-click the right slide and choose Save Slide as Video. Here, make sure to check the Export Audio option. After exporting, the result will be like this. Hi everyone, welcome to our today's report for 7P Marketing Plan. We will go through 8 main parts today. That's it! Hope that the video can help you find the most suitable way to convert your PowerPoint presentation into an appealing and creative video.